Hello, in this video I will introduce transformation matrices. This presentation is in fact divided into two parts. In the first part I will focus on the most basic concepts of transformation matrices, while in the second part I will focus on basic transformation and uh, tra basic transformations and their composition. Therefore, the aims of this presentation are on the one hand to understand the concept of homogeneous coordinates for representing a point in the 3D space. In fact, we will see how to transform a point in Cartesian coordinates to homogeneous coordinates and vice versa. This will lead us to introduce transformation matrices, which will allow us to perform geometric transformations using algebraic equations. We will also see the elements of a homogeneous transformation matrices and specifically we will focus on basic translation and rotation operations and their composition in the second part of this presentation. Finally, we will see some simple numerical examples that will help you to consolidate the acquired knowledge. In the 3D space, a point in homogeneous coordinates is represented by four coordinates three of them corresponding to the position coordinates and the, the, another one corresponding to a scaling. The representation in homogeneous coordinates is not, not unique and therefore there are infinite combinations of homogeneous coordinates that represent the same actual 3D point. We can transform a point in homogeneous coordinates to a Cartesian coordinates by just simply dividing the three first coordinates by the scale coordinate, as you can see here. Here we see some simple examples of representing the same 3D point in homogeneous coordinates. It is also showing how to convert a point in a Cartesian coordinate to a homogeneous point by adding just a 1 at the end of it, or just the opposite by dividing the homogeneous coordinates by its scale coordinate and this is the way we can obtain the original Cartesian coordinates of the 3D point. As it has been observed, if the scale is unitary, then the three first coordinates are the same as the Cartesian ones. The advantages of working with homogeneous coordinates is that the, this representation allows uh, to operate or to work with geometric transformations uh, by just simply multiplying matrices and uh, we can do these uh, operations such as, for instance, translation, rotation, also change of perspective or scaling. All these operations can be performed under the same concept and just simply using basic algebraic operations. A homogeneous transformation matrix is a 4 times 4 matrix that includes the 4 elements mentioned before. They are used in applications such as computer graphics, vision system, robotics, among other uh, fields. In fact, in robotics we use a simplification in which we only consider rotation and translation components. And therefore, for us, a homogeneous transformation matrix will always look like the one shown below. With a 3 times 3 submatrix representing the rotation of a reference frame, O, U, V, W with respect to a frame O, X, Y, Z, the fixed frame, and then also a translation uh, vector, it's a 3 times 1 vector, in this case representing the, the position of the origin of the mobile frame. For example, a transformation matrix to represent a pure translation looks just like the, the following matrix. In this case, the transformation matrix indicates the displacement between the origins. As you can see, there's no rotation at all, so that's why we have an identity submatrix uh, for the rotation matrix, because the axis, they don't change the orientation. In this example, as we see a first example of the use of a transformation matrix. In this case, the idea is that we want to obtain the coordinates of a point P with respect to the frame O, X, Y, Z, the fixed frame, that point is expressed indeed, or the input of our problem statement is that we express this point with respect to the mobile frame, the frame O, U, V, W. This is our given data. As you can see, calculating the coordinates of a point is as simple as calculating the multiplication of T, the transformation matrix, with P prima. 
On the other hand, a reference frame can be represented with an arbitrary rotation matrix R. And whose homogeneous transformation matrix will look just like this one. As we seen above, the rotation matrix is just a submatrix of the transformation matrix. In this other example, we see again the application of the transformation matrix in which again we want to compute the coordinates of P with respect to the fixed frame O X Y Z. And our data is the point P prima expressed with respect to the frame or the mobile frame, in this case named as O U V W. And the transformation between these frames uh, is T. With that transformation, then we can just simply compute the coordinates of P by multiplying T with P prima, as you can see. In general, we will have that a transformation matrix represents the combination of a rotation followed by a translation with respect to the fixed frame, as you can see here. This is a general way to express the transformation matrix in robotics. Similarly, a transformation matrix can be seen as a translation followed by a rotation with respect to the mobile frame, that is, the one that has been already translated. All this we will see in more detail in the second part of this, uh, the presentation, in which we will show how to compose those transformations. To conclude this uh, presentation, we can see another example in which we have two reference frames, the fixed one, the OXYZ, and the mobile frame, the OUVW, that has been rotated and then moved. Based on this transformation, we can compute the coordinates of the point P with respect to the fixed frame, if we know the coordinates of the point P prima with respect to the mobile frame. In this video, we have introduced the concepts of homogeneous coordinates as well as homogeneous transformation matrices. In the following video, we will explain some basic operations that we can perform with this transformation matrix. Thank you very much.